utilizing state-of-the-art eye-tracking technology, will analyze how effectively Peterson reads a quarterback's cues and reacts to defend either a pass or a run. Been hooked up to all these gadgets, and I pretty much feel like a machine right now. Three, two, one, go! As Peterson backpedals, the eye tracking system reveals that his eyes are focused on the QB's upper body. Some of the things that Adib is taught how to read a quarterback's the shoulder, the ball release, and what they're looking. Correctly identifying a long pass, Peterson turns and in only three strides accelerates to a blistering 19.3 miles an hour. He twists his body 90 degrees in only two tenths of a second as he launches for a deflection. When the quarterback commits to a running play, Peterson can shift gears from reverse to forward in just 53 hundredths of a second. And Peterson's fast reactions and blazing speed are best showcased when defending a play like a quick out. The average NFL QB's release time is roughly four tenths of a second. And a pass that travels 20 yards through the air at 35 miles per hour takes just over one second to reach its target. This means that based on his reaction time, ability to change direction and acceleration, if he's within 15 feet of the receiver, when the QB releases a pass that travels 20 yards through the air, Peterson can get a hand on the ball every time. Patrick Peterson is more than just a great prospect at cornerback. He also could have a huge impact on special teams. In college, he averaged over 23 yards per kick return, more than 13% better than the returns in college of Devin Hester. For ESPN Sports Science, I'm John Brinkus.